What's up, guys? Welcome to game one of the 2025 season in my Miami Hurricanes dynasty. So we're going to be taking on Boise State at Boise, so I'm excited. Excited to see the blue field and... Excited to see how my new players do. Folks, when you see that world famous blue carpet, you could only be one place on earth. Boise, Idaho, home of the Boise State Broncos. And wow, do we have a fun one here ahead. A top 10 team walking into the snake pit of an environment just trying to get out alive. This will be fun as we'll see the number one team of the country, the Miami Hurricanes, taking on a squad from the Mountain West, the Boise State Broncos. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. And the Broncos will kick this away to get us going. Well, he thought about coming out, but instead takes a knee and will bring the football out to the 25-yard line. The Hurricanes offense comes on the field first today. And here comes the tight end who's having such a great season. Kirk, you talk to opponents, and they always use the same phrase, matchup nightmare. This guy. Well, what stands out to me with this guy is it's not very often you're right. The defensive coordinators are most concerned about a tight end. But in this case, that is exactly what we're dealing with. This guy can hurt you in so many different ways. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Looking out throwing here to start the drive. Sure. That ball is in the yeah, An aggressive deep shot on first down. Well, this defense has got to be aware that this quarterback and this offensive coordinator, they're not afraid to take shots. Here we see it early in this game. It's one yeah, ball down the field. Come on. Defense has got to be aware. Keep those safeties back. Keep your eyes up. Try to keep a lid on this Stop. offense and look for some turnover Stop. opportunities. Stop. Trying to keep the things in Tough situation with the offense. They're not long. They're 25. Let's see if the defense brings some heat here. He's a wide open receiver, complete. Oh, and he's in the now. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Canes. Made the defense look slow that time. Well, and I accomplished what I was here. wanting and to this accomplish. Got that to be fired up. That's his first the passing screen, touchdown but... of the season. Here's the first of hopefully many more for this young man. So they'll try to add to the lead now to the PAT. PAT makes it seven. So yeah, my field goal kickers are both in the 60s, and this is a kickoff team on the field getting set now. Crazy, so I will not be attempting any field goals in this game. Returner choosing to field this one. Probably won't be able to make it. He's stopped at the 19. 19. Good job by the coverage team. So Boise State's offense makes their way onto the field for their first possession. If there's one guy on this defensive side, Kirk, who can be a game wrecker, it's this elite pass rusher, very much on the quarterback's mind today. Yeah, Chris, but it's going to be very tough. This quarterback does a nice job of moving around in the pocket, and also he's going to have an awareness of exactly where this guy is and have a clock in his mind about how quickly that ball needs to get out. Incomplete, there's a marker down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Holding, 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 holding. Nice. I was like, I didn't touch him. I know it's Costly not. holding penalty <laughs> there. Backs him up 10 yards. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Quarterback oh, keeps the football. I'm, I'm always biting him. Finding space at the 20. And they bring him down after a solid game, but it's still well short of the first down mark. This is exactly how this offense envisioned this game getting started, is having opportunities to be able to crease this defense and hit big plays. Now let's see what they can do off of Nowhere to run up the middle. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Takes the handoff, looking to throw. 
Looking for a deep completion. Oh. Defense breaks it up. Nice play. Incomplete. I don't know if people yeah. understand how hard it is to defend against a deep ball Number and man six. coverage like that. But this defensive back did it perfectly. Turns his head back just in time to find the ball to ensure that incompletion. The coverage team makes the stop on this return. Yeah, I'm going with field. my young freshman quarterback. The last time out, I'm do the same thing here. I just want to see what he can Next do. He's only 70 out of the ball. He's, not, he's, he's nowhere near my best man. Here's ball. the second down play. I'm like, I want to see what he can do. And he drops back in the gun. Stepping to his right now to avoid the pressure. Tries to get to the marker with his legs, but comes up a little short on the scramble. down play for this offense. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. And he moves the ball across midfield and picks up a first down. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain breed. They're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. I'll tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big-time runs. That makes them block just a little bit harder knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. The Caves look to keep this drive moving. And looking to throw now on first half. Yeah. Throws in completely broken up by the defender nicely that time. Well, this is just an outstanding job by this Let's defender being in phase against this receiver and to being able to tip that ball away. He actually tips it up into the air. The offense catches a break, but that ball's not intercepted. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. I, I, uh, Incomplete. They cannot connect on the deep ball. That's some zip. That's some zip. That's some mindset from the quarterback and offense coordinator. Found the matchup that you wanted. Take a shot downfield. You don't hit it, but you made the defense be aware of it. On third down, he drops to throw. Makes the catch inside the 10-yard line. Into the end zone. Touchdown for the U. A great job here of finding him again. That's his second touchdown reception in this football game. They still cannot stop this receiver. We're here in the first quarter. He's already got 100-plus receiving yards. This guy is big time and living up to the hype. I mean, you and I both knew coming in that they had to be able to slow him down. Who expected this guy to have over 100 yards receiving in the first quarter? The kick sails through, so the lead is 14-0. Getting set to kick the ball off now. And he takes this from inside the five. And the returner brought down by the coverage team now. And here comes the Boise State offense back out on the field. Now coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. Keeping it on the ground here. It's a nice game. We'll move the football up to the 27. But kind of realize when any play call when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. Stop changing direction. To the the tackle him at the 38. Solid game. Nice play though. You know, all week, the defensive coordinator told us about the quarterback, he told us about the receivers and how they're going to throw the football. But, man, they better get locked in on stopping this run game because that was a big-time game. First and ten now for the offense. Dropping back. It's Nelson. Oh, it's picked off. What a play. Yeah, well, the quarterback ends up being a tad aggressive and he ends up paying for it with a pick. I get that that might be part of his playing style. But there's a difference between being aggressive and being careless. And the Hurricanes offense retakes the field. They punched it in the last possession. Can they do it again? Or will this defense make some adjustments to get a stop? Runner finding some space there. That's a solid gain on the ground. Great job by the offensive line here. Opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe... Oh, and he breaks free! It's a foot race! And he's finally forced out of bounds inside the 10. Big play to set up a first and goal. 
Now, I love how they're using the receiver here in motion. With a weapon like this, just get him the football. Simple throw for the quarterback. He's got all that speed built up. You get him the ball out there in space with a couple blockers, and you get big plays like this right here. And he'll make it in for the score. Touchdown, Hurricanes. Try to add to the lead now with the PAT. They convert the PAT, so the lead is now 21. Now they get set to kick it away. And the return starts just inside the end zone. And he's brought down at the 16, would have been better off leaving it in the end zone for a touchback. And the Boise State offense is back out on the field. We'll see if this quarterback can shake off the interception he threw in the last possession. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. Just a small game. Look at it, second and nine. Chris, you know, the spread era over the years has always grown offensively, but what I've been always impressed with defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound. It. Oh, and he's it. free down the left side. Can they run him down? Inside the 10. Yeah, it's on me. You're not going to get him. He's in. Touchdown, Rocco. That kind of play is almost impossible to defend. When the quarterback is throwing the ball with that kind of accuracy and timing, and the receiver runs a route like this, good luck trying to stop it. So maybe this is a great start for this combination of this quarterback and receiver for a big day. He thought about returning it, but instead takes a knee. It'll be a touchback, and they'll start at the 25. And the Miami offense is back on the field. Remember last time this scored a touchdown. Can they keep clicking here, or the defense come up with a stop? And the game just good enough for a first down. They bring him down, but the freshman quarterback showing off the arm strength. That last catch, Kirk, puts him over 150 receiving yards in the game. Let's start checking the record books. This guy's making a, a push. Yeah, it really doesn't matter what the defensive coordinator calls, whether they play man, whether they play zone. The quarterback's been able to find this guy all day long for such a huge day. Big pass. Here comes a jet sweep. Not much on that play. Brought down short. Boy, I'm a big fan of that jet sweep motion like that. It really forces the defense to stretch them out horizontally and can create some vertical seams for this offense. They got some positive yards. Didn't quite get the first down, but I'll tell you what they've done. Planted a seed on this defense that they better defend this style of play moving forward. Tackle finally made, but it's a huge gain. They'll spot it at the 34. The offense will line up. Chance for a couple more plays before the end of the quarter. Here's the handoff. Gets the first and still running. It's a solid game to pick up the first down and what'll be likely the final play of this first quarter. Kirk, as we take a break for the quarter here, it's Miami in front. Solid performance so far, creating some separation. Here's the first quarter stats. And as we flip the field and begin quarter number two, we'll see if they can continue to build this lead. And the Canes getting set on first and ten. Looking to throw it from the red zone. He's moving out of the pocket. The defense will wrap him up, but he's able to scramble for a first down and keep the drive going. These are the kind of plays that keep defensive coordinators up at night. You spend so much time putting your plan together to stop the pass, and then nobody accounts for the quarterback on a run. And he'll set up to throw. Running out of time in the pocket. Oh, sack. The senior on this defense making a big play. So I'll go for us. It's second and goal from the end. Well, that's a great job by this defense coming up with a big sack there on first and goal. The offense still has their opportunities. Let's see if they can get back on track here on second and goal. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. Looks left and finds his target there. Run down, but the completion moves the ball to the six. Defense getting pushed back. This defense is spread out all over the field, trying to be able to make plays in space. That is a key. Good job of tackling and keep him out of the end zone. The defense closes in quickly to stop him short of the goal line. 
QB just ran out of options. He decides to take matters into his own hands and takes off on that scramble. I thought he might come close to getting into the end zone. I didn't run out of options. I just wanted to see if I could use it. So fourth down now from the three. They'll go for it. Can the defense rise up for a big... Damn it, say it like a trial. I always make that same stupid mistake. It's a short return, but a takeaway from this defense. When you get this close to the end zone, you've got to be able to come away with points at the very least a field goal. They gotta be scratching their heads and hoping that in the second half, this play right here doesn't come back to bite them. And the runner brought down after just a short game. Second down after that run on the previous play. Looking to throw. It's Nelson. Looks over the middle, and that's complete. Tackle, but first down. I thought the defense was in pretty good position there. They sat back and had good coverage, eyes on the quarterback, but you almost got to just give the quarterback and the receiver credit for being able to come up with that completion. They make the stop and get the ball carrier down. The Broncos will hustle to the line here to run the hurry up. Gonna hand this off. Tackle somebody. Thank you. A crucial eight yard gain sets up a makeable third and two. It's not a huge gain here, but if you add up multiple runs like that throughout the course of a game, by the fourth quarter, you're gonna start to see that affect the defense. And it's the tight end trying to power for the first down. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. And the Broncos are moving quickly down the field. They'll switch it up, looking to throw. The ball is picked off. Why do I keep diving every time? That's a takeaway. Uh, press square in the play. second, usually. What a great job here by the safety and, uh, to anticipate where the quarterback was going to go with the football. That gave him enough time to be able to get over and break on the football in time for the interception. And here comes the Miami offense back out onto the field. The last possession ended in a dreaded red zone interception. Let's see if they can bounce back from that clock. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Miami. Well, they began with great field position, and that didn't take long at all, Kirk. Well, that's how you take advantage of an opportunity. Your defense sets you up in great field position. You're not looking for a field goal. You're looking for a touchdown. Give the credit to this offense for being aggressive and punching it in. And the extra point makes it a 28-7 game. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. And he'll lead the kickoff right there. He'll start from the 25. And here comes the Boise State offense back out on the field. This drive is important. Last one ended in an interception. Let's see if they can get it going here. First down, looking to throw the ball. Beautiful catch right near the sideline. Gets the foot down. Tackle made with the sophomore quarterback showing us the arm strength. Completion good for first down yardage for this offense. They'll give it to the back. It's a two-yard game, second and eight. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide but here's a great example of a defense has the ability to play wide but still be solid at the line of scrimmage and not give up big run plays the qb throws oh, his why do i always die now well, this guy obviously did what he needed to do to get himself ready for this game it's a favorable Stop matchup diving. he's got a lot of confidence he's already come up with two oh, interceptions man. in this game alone locked in on what he needs to do to be in position and making plays for this defense. First play of the drive, they're going to throw the football. Pass complete on a crossing route. And he's brought down, but not before he gets first down yardage. The defense does a nice job of forcing the quarterback here to be patient by playing zone. They run a crossing route. Defense is there, but not able to break up the catch. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. Ooh, how about the offensive line? That's just getting a hat on a hat, opening just enough room for the back to be able to get through there for big... Makes it across the goal line. Touchdown, Canes. I 
think we're starting to kind of see a theme here, Chris, today. That's his second touchdown. The offensive line doing their job, and he's doing an outstanding job of just reading the defense, finding the hole, and being able to pick up big yards and touchdowns. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Here's the kickoff team now, set to move this one away. And it comes out of the 25. No return attempted there. And the Boise State offense is back out on the field. This has been a rough yeah, first half of the week. But in the meantime, let's see if they can get some momentum going. Dropping back, it's Nelson. Physical defending, that one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. What a hit there by the defender. Tough for the receiver to hold on to the football when he has that kind of contact. Good, clean play by the defense. And he's back to throw again on second and ten. What a job to lay out and make the catch. The Broncos come to the line in the hurry up. Snap motion from the receiver. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Damn Here it. comes a deep Ooh. shot. Downfield shot falls incomplete. Couldn't quite connect there. Well, it's an incompletion here, but I bet this secondary is going to play a little bit deeper just to make sure they don't get hit on any deep throws later in this game. Looking to throw yet again. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty. Brings up third down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out the punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, he's unable to hold on to the football. He's running out of time here. Ball lands harmlessly out of bounds, but at least he avoided the sack here. That was important. Boy, this is all about the defense here. Nice stop here on third down, but really it's about trying to get this offense behind the sticks. Once you get them behind the sticks, you can mix up your coverages, really affect the quarterback's eyes and disrupt the timing and the rhythm of what the offense is trying to do. Now we've got another big fourth down coming up. And the returner is tackled by this punt coverage team. And the Hurricanes offense retakes the field. Offense protecting the lead here, but they've been playing so well. Let's see if they go for more before halftime. Off the play fake on first down. Quick throw to the left side. He's got it for a big game. Breaks free down the left side. End zone ahead. Touchdown for the U. Just ran away from the defense. <laughs> this receiver is putting on a show today. That is three trips to the end zone already. And based on how this defense is playing against him, this may not be the last time we see him in the end zone today. I thought with Ray Ray Joseph's speed, I'd be able to get some big plays and... With that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good. They stretch the lead a little bit more. That makes this so the offense gets momentum scoring before halftime. Now the kickoff. We'll see if the defense can get a stop and preserve that momentum. Fielded in the end zone. It's Bates. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. Here comes the Boise State offense back out on the field. They've got a choice here in the final minute, but they get aggressive. Got to cut into this lead or play it safe and point toward the second half. Bringing pressure. Catch made by the tight end. And a timeout is called to talk strategy. Close game here as we approach halftime. Pass complete. It's second down now. Did I just hear him say close game? Dude, it's 42 to 7. Back to throw. It's That's Nelson. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag. Brings up third down. Pick up the first down through the air. And he 
dumps it off to the tight end. The offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. What a clutch play here by this offense to convert on third down. I know it's still early in this game, but the fact that they've dug themselves a hole to convert there and keep this drive alive, they got a new set of downs and a chance to dig into this lead. On first and ten, looking to throw. He's got a man down the middle. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play. How about the arm strength from this quarterback? He really didn't have any other option than to put it right in there and give it everything that he had. Great timing and a good job of squeezing that in between the defenders. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. I don't have and much, the really, the to the line, quarterback is good. Up. He's a transfer from the UFC. I'm first and ten here looking to throw the ball. He'll take a deep shot. Caught near the line. And he scores! Touchdown! I was on him like a little bit. That's what makes this guy so dangerous. I thought I'd have a chance to catch the ball underneath, shake and make and go by you. Or use his speed to get around you and make a big play like this for a touchdown. Kick is good, and the kicker got clobbered. Flags all over the field. Personal foul. Nothing to kick. Kicker. Defense. Defense. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. So an important touchdown just before halftime. Not much time for the opposing offense to try to answer before the break. So the offense takes the field in the final seconds of the half. Chance for just a couple more plays. First play of the drive, they'll come out throwing. Oh. Tried to press the ball deep, but it's incomplete. You know, the game often comes down to a play or two, and the offense just missed a huge opportunity for a big play. They're going to have to make some adjustments there, and maybe go back to that play and see if they can come up with a big opportunity. Quarterback takes off now, looking to scramble. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. This is why you don't predetermine what to do with the ball as a quarterback. He wants to throw this as he rolls out to his right, but instead he keeps his eyes downfield, recognizes there's nobody open, so instead he decides to become the runner, and he's a real threat when he has the ball in his hands. He pulls it in for a big gain. They finally make the stop there after a huge gain, but that wraps up the first half. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Guys, time for everyone inside that stadium in Boise to take a deep breath and kind of digest what we just saw. These two defenses have really been up to the task so far, and it's hard to ignore um, how each of these what? two secondaries have impacted. Have you looked at the scoreboard, sir? They've stayed true to their assignments, covering the receiver like a blanket. 14, right? And you know what else they've done? They've wrapped up in the tackle. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to start the second half. So that's one thing I was just not getting a ton of was yards after catch. The Hurricanes will kick this away game. to start the second half. Outside of that deep pass to Arroyo. Looks like he'll try to make a play with the return. He'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Boise State offense is back out on the field. And their first play of the drive now coming up at the 17 yard line. First and ten, they'll look to throw it. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. You know, this is the one thing I love about this running back is his ability to get involved in the pass game. Runs a great route, just doesn't come down with a catch. Incomplete, so it's second down and ten. Back to pass. It's Nelson. Short pass, finds the tight end. The defense all over. They stop him right at the line. When the defense had everything covered downfield, the quarterback tries to check it down. But how about the defensive speed to be able to sniff that out? And he'll drop back here on third down. 
gets the ball up as he's hit, but it's incomplete. Well, the defense picks the right time to get after this quarterback. Third down, critical down in distance. Do a good job of dialing things up and good coverage downfield. He didn't have anywhere to go with the ball. Running it back, it's Joseph. Good effort by the return man. They get him down, but that's a solid gain on the return. And the Miami offense is back on the field. The guys up front lined up. It's first down. Look him out throwing here to start the drive. That's reeled in. It's important. They get him down, but the game moves the ball to the 37. Boy, another nice completion by this quarterback and one of his receivers. You know, if I'm right, you look at this quarterback in this game alone, he's now over 350 yards. What a game for him. Second down after that run on the previous play. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. Yeah, I didn't maybe get, get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. But that's exactly what defensive coordinators love to see. You've got a quarterback that typically is known for his ability to cover, and here he shows some physical toughness by sticking his nose in there. And he comes up with a touchdown, Hurricanes. Stretching the lead. This one is getting ugly. So the offense flexing here, Kirk, and stretching their lead here in the second half. Yeah, that touchdown gives you a little bit more breathing room, but now it's up to your own defense to help preserve that lead so you can go back out and build onto it in the second half. Woo! He almost made a play right there. That was close. And they'll set up now for the extra point trial. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. Fields it just outside the goal line. The returner is brought down. Gets to start for the next drive. Here comes the Boise State offense back out on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? And now the handoff. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Well, they keep trying to run the football, and they keep getting dominated. Well, let me look at my... Yeah, why, why is he in the game, I wonder? He's an 80. I have no idea who that is. Don't know who Crawford is either. Cassell. He's a... Um... That has been a theme throughout this entire game. We've talked about it earlier in the game. It's not changing at all. They've become one-dimensional. I think it's allowed this defense to really lock in on that quarterback. The sophomore with a strong tackle there. For the defensive coordinator this week, all we telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Back to pass. It's Nelson. Sacked. It's a loss. Back to the six. Nothing is more gratifying for a defense to be able to sit back and play zone and still get pressure on the quarterback with your defensive front. The Broncos bring their punt team onto the field. And the ball is away from inside the 10. Oh, and he's got some space here. And the coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. And here comes the Miami offense back out onto the field. So the offense with the first and 10 now, the football placed exactly at midfield. From the shotgun now, here's a handoff inside. Defense stops him, but that's a solid game. 
Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid gain here. Keeps you on schedule, and you get ready for that next play. Been a decent gain there before the defense brings him down. I feel like they called that knowing chances are that they're not going to hit a home run. But look at this. Put themselves in a perfect third down situation. It's much more manageable. Now we'll see if they can convert. And that game will pick up a first down and move the football to the 36. How impressive have these guys been up front today. Big third down. Know what you need to do. Get the first down. Continue to hold on to that lead. Continue to work clock and get that much closer to securing a victory. Using the ground game here. Tailback has the handoff. And they finally stop it, but a decent game that time. I know this defense worked very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half. And he's already at it again. And the wideout goes in motion. A pop pass on the jet sweep. Damn it. This one goes I to get nowhere. Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. I always get that ball. About this. You can always gauge a team's toughness that ball? as a group by how good they are to tackle that with that their corners. The Here, right there. the corner shows you he's not just out there to cover. Does a good job of being physical and making that play. Play action fake, looking to throw. Oh, over the middle, it's Joseph. They bring oh, he caught down, it. But okay, I thought he didn't catch it. The play. Well, this quarterback is unflappable. Here they are, working with the lead in the second half. Get to a third down. you got to throw the football. This is where you trust the quarterback to make a good decision, an accurate throw. He does it. You convert, and you keep working that clock. They go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. Touchdown, Miami. And the route is on. Chris, you think this guy, when he went to bed last night at the team hotel, thought he would score not one, not two, but three rushing touchdowns in one game? What a day. And they get set now to try the PAT. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. Bringing it out, it's Bates. And he's brought down at the 16. Would have been better off leaving it in the end zone for a touchback. And the Boise State offense is back out on the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. Yeah, what are you guys doing? As the first down still on the move. Tackle, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. Chris, what I love here is just the vision by the running back. Showing great patience. The hole opens up, and then he's able to use his speed to pick up some good yards. It's Damn caught it, downfield. Oh, and nothing but green grass ahead. Nobody can bring him down. And they bring him down at the five. Solid game, though, in the completion. Looks like a player is down injured at that last play. We'll take a timeout while they check it out. Let's go, and the Broncos break. line it up with first and goal. Here we go. To throw, it's Nelson. Yeah, why Catch I made think. in the yeah. end zone. Touchdown, BSU. It's okay. But the defense to me looked like they may have had a bust. So much focus on the perimeter, worrying about the receivers. They lost focus on the tight end. He's wide open. An easy read for this quarterback for the touchdown. And the point after is right down the middle. Miami, 56. And it's fielded. Returner trying to create a big play here. That goes at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. Offense coming to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before we reach the end of the quarter. Quarterback escapes the pocket. Caught way downfield for a huge gain. Out of bounds, but not before a big game. This offense is ripping the defense apart today. As we take a break for the quarter here, it's Miami in front. It's been pretty one-sided so far at the end of three. Let's check out the stats. So here we go, first play of the quarter. The offense has a first down.
from the shotgun, handoff inside. Oh, seven on my and back. That's a solid yes. game from the defense able to bring him down. Nice solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane, pick up some positive yards there on first and ten. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. And it's going to be incomplete. Defense had a great chance for the pick. Couldn't come up with it. Pretty nice catch here, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it. A lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, and hands. Sometimes a little questionable, as we saw here. Finding some room with the 25. And they tackle him, but a solid gain down to around the five-yard line. Well, that's what you love to see from an offense. The offensive line and the running back in sync, working together, and it pays off. What a big gain. Thought he might be close to being able to take it all the way to the end zone, but the defense just brings him down there inside the five. The Canes pick up first down yardage to keep the drive going. I'll go ahead and be nice and bleed some cloth and not run it up too much. here with the running game. And he's tackled down at the four-yard line. Defense getting pushed back. It's now second angle. Goal line formation for the defense. Lasso! Lasso! They'll run it here. It's just the middle to get stuck. That one goes nowhere. It's a nice play by this defense, and now you're thinking about third down and goal from around the five-yard line. you got a real shot to come up with a stop here. Whether they run it or throw it, you get a stop here, and maybe hold them to three points. Look at a throw on third and goal. Touchdown, Canes. And this one is getting ugly. Chris, you talk about having a day. This offense just goes out. They don't, they're not even looking at the scoreboard. They're just going out, executing the play call, and continuing to put points on the board. And the extra point was up and good. The kickoff team on the field now is they get set to send this one away. Number 94. Set to kick this one away. Doesn't bring the kick out. Touchback. They'll start at the 25. And here comes the Boise State offense back out on the field. First down here for this offense. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Makes the catch downfield. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. That completion good for a first down. The offense working with a new set of downs here. Quick throw to his receiver. Oh, it's incomplete. That's a good job of the defender to break that up. Some players just have a real knack for timing their jump. And that defender was able to get a big paw on the ball and bat it away. To throw, it's Nelson. Quick throw over the middle. Damn it, guys. It's complete downfield. Uh... No Tackling in space is very hard. In this game Touchdown, Rocco. Rocco's never say die attitude from this quarterback. He's still slinging it out there. Yeah, I'm going to have to take numbers. I'm going to have to take numbers for Grant Stokes in this game. Because and he knocks through the PAT. Pick up teams on the field to move this one soon, away. So. Return starts from inside the five. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. Hurricanes offense retakes the field. They take the field with serious momentum. They have been tough to stop so far, and they keep it going. And he breaks the tackle on the way to a solid gain there. Second down after that run on the previous play. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice gain like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance at a really nice gain. Tackled at the 32, that's enough for a first down. 
Sometimes I almost get mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, the eyes that carry their feet to the open space, making people miss. I just love watching those guys do work. And that's the two-minute warning as this offense tries to work the clock, getting closer now to an impressive victory. line getting set up it's a first down play takes the handoff it's Allen they stop him with the 47 but that's enough for a first down you know I'd say this run is pretty emblematic of what we've seen all day long no matter what they've done on offense the guys up front have controlled the line of scrimmage they've given the quarterback time to throw they've been able to run really whatever they've wanted to that's why the points are going up on the board. Right now, the psyche of this offense is we're in control, and we can do whatever we want whenever we feel like doing it. The pocket breaking down. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw. Yeah, that's what his lack of speed hurts down. me, I'd say. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? I couldn't. Back to throw. Do it's Williams. Quarterback escapes the pocket. I can't get free. Block. It's incomplete. I want to get, I want to get out. I'm third down coming up. Block. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Yeah, I can't do it. If they do not block. Damn, my damn well, offensive line the makes the mistake here. That's football one on one. They're not letting me do what I want to do. You've got to get rid of the football in this situation. I wanted and to. Take the sack, especially in the fourth quarter. Uh, F it. I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna throw it. I'm not gonna punt. I'm gonna. You know the offense will call a timeout. Some the coach didn't like about this crucial play coming up. My damn offensive line would just do the damn job. Fourth down and very long, but the offense still on I the field. I wish they would go. do their job so I could get out and throw. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. On the run right here, taking a deep shot. Dang it, dude! I tried. Not That's a great right. return, but the interception wipes out the scoring threat and gives the offense the ball at the 32. I tried. Looks like a man is down on the field after the last play, so we'll take a timeout. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Look at out throwing here to start the drive. Quarterback finds a target on the right. It's complete. Heads out of bounds and a short gain on the play. Hold on here a second. The replay booth has signaled they want to take another look at this one. Well, they took a look just to confirm it, but it looks like they got it right on the field after the review. The play will stand. Important second down play coming up. They snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. And it's complete. What a grab. Yeah, I'm going to take my first side. Well, this is a beautiful play when it's thrown against the back as we see right here. The receiver's got to do a good job of working his way back to the football as the quarterback is throwing it. The timing here is impeccable. Looking for his big tight end. Finds a receiver in the middle of the field. Tackle made out for a big game. The Broncos starting a new series here on first and ten. Here comes a throw from the red zone. Looking for six. Everybody, I just keep doing things. Backups are very good. Now the all-important extra point. Very good. That's just nice execution. Quarterback my entire backups against this first team. Yeah, you can see why route running is one of the most underrated attributes ever received. It's easy to get caught up on their ability to catch. Or... There just ain't much I can do. But nothing substitutes for someone who can create separation like this before, before the ball is even thrown. And position. the coverage team gets the return to the ground. And Miami offense is back on the field. Come back out protecting a safe lead. What an awesome feeling to be way ahead in a big road game. Play action here on first down. Makes the throw across the middle of the field. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. Touchdown for the U, and the beatdown continues. That's another touchdown for these guys. Man, they have had a day that you dream about, whether it's the quarterback, the running back, the receivers, the offensive line. The entire unit has been dominant.
So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the PAT is good as they continue to pull away even more. It would be much worse. It would be like Let's see if they give the return an opportunity to bring this back. So no return here. He takes it in the end zone. And they'll begin the drive at the 25. And the Boise State offense is back out on the field. They need a couple miracles here in the final two minutes to rescue what's been a very, very rough outing so far. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Wow, that is interception number four today for this QB. And he's wrapped up after a solid return. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half. And the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. Guys, why the fuck is he not blocking? Why are you even there? Why are you even there, sir? Why are you even there? To be trying to work if you are not going to block, why the hell are you even there? But before he knew it, he's on his back. You are useless, sir. I, 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 I can't do anything. I cannot throw that play. That play is not going to That's not good. This that quarterback's play. trying to do That's everything good. he can to give this play a chance. He gets out of the that. pressure off to his right. But man, did he take a hit. He just stopped to this and just, and just go with what's working. Now in third and very long, looking to throw. And that one is incomplete. Of course it is. Nine of course seconds it is. on the clock. It's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. Trying for a fourth down completion. This is the chance to take here as an offensive coordinator and a play caller. You go for it here, you draw it up perfectly, you think this is the right play, and then the execution is not there. So the defense catches a break, and they get the ball back to their own offense. And there's a deep throw with the clock winding down. And that last pass falls incomplete. That will do it. Game over. Well, the coach is kind of expected to be this kind of game. An offensive show. Who's going to make one more play at the end to get the win? And they did it. Yeah, you mentioned the coaches. I think we had a feeling that this game had a chance to get into at least the 30s, and we weren't disappointed. These offenses came to play, but you're right. One defense made some plays when they had to, and the other one didn't. Simple as that. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Curb Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football. Dominant win that would have been even more dominant had they not set all my backups in. Play some boys' first team.
Okay. What? What are you talking about? That's uh, stupid, whatever. What is it? Oh, I don't have it. Oh, I don't have it. Oops. Well, that's a problem. Alright, guys, well. See you in the next episode. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.